Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a fun video. So this is a little off topic for my channel, but not totally. I usually talk about homeschool. I usually talk about my kids, but in this video, I'm going to talk about what I got my kids for Christmas. So I don't have like a hard and fast philosophy for Christmas gifts. I just tend to aim for like somewhat simple, open-ended toys, educational if possible, but things that I just know they will really like. And so I will share the gifts I'm over here that we got them my husband and I got them for Christmas and you will see that it's not a ton and the reason is because I know they're gonna get a number of other wonderful gifts from their relatives and I know this because I have sent out so many links to everybody to kind of share ideas for what they should get the kids and so I will pop some of those ideas up on the screen as well just to give you some additional ideas if you're looking for ideas for Christmas and I realized that this video didn't go up super early, so hopefully this is helpful for some of you. So anyway, let's hop into what I got my kids for Christmas this year. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel if you're new here or welcome back if you have been coming for a while. Like I said, this video is all about the Christmas gifts I got for my kids for the 2022 Christmas season. Just for some reference, my kids are eight, almost nine is a boy, and then a girl who is seven and a half, and then twin boys who just turned five. So that's the age range I am aiming for here. And so let's just hop in. Let's hop in first though, with kind of the combined gifts, because I feel like some gifts are better given to all of them at once. Mostly we're talking games and things like that. So let's get into the games. I got for my kids. So the first one is this one. So it's called Zingo, bingo with a zing. The reason I got this is because my twins have loved this game or some version of this game. And it is rated for, I believe, five plus, oh, four and up. So I got this for all my kids, mainly because we are trying to find games that all the kids can play together. Cause lately we have been playing a lot of games after dinner because it's dark out. They can't go play out back. We don't typically watch TV at night, and so they need more games, and they need more games that all of them can play because the five-year-olds will start to get a little bit bored with the other games. So we got Zingo, which just looks really fun. Okay, so the other gift I got as a combination for everybody is something I've gotten every year for maybe the past four years or five years. Anyway, I always get them the illustrated copy of Harry Potter. So now, we have been loving Harry Potter. I'm reading them out loud to my kids. We're only to book three. We tend to read one a year, but the newest one came out book five. It's just beautiful. It's always so beautiful. I'll show you some pictures. I mean, it's just so fun. I haven't even opened it and looked at it yet. And it's so heavy, it's hard to hold. But I got the illustrated number five, Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter for all the kids because they all enjoy these books and I will read them all at some point. To each of them but as for other games that are coming from other people they are also getting monopoly which we played a ton over thanksgiving so that's going to be a good one as well as the game headbands and sleeping queens 2 and dragon quest i believe it's called or dragon realm i'm not sure so sleeping queens and the dragon one are some of our favorite games i talked about that in one of my videos where i talked about good open-ended toys i'll link it above if you want some other ideas but we just wanted to get the second games in the series, if you will. So those are some of the additional games that my kids will be getting for Christmas. So to move on to my eight, almost nine year old son. So either we get him like a big thing, like a big Lego set, or this year I got a number of small things, but only for one reason. And the reason is that he has been showing a lot of interest in coding. Like he takes a coding class at his enrichment school and so what we're going to do for him this year is I bought him a number of different resources. So here's a book. So this is coding games in scratch. So this is a DK book. And then I got him these little coding cards. I'm not quite sure, but what I'm going to do is I do have a extra laptop that I'm going to set up in our school room and I'm just going to download the scratch program on there. So that way he doesn't need like his own computer or anything like that. And he's not using mine and he's not on the internet. So, that's my plan. That's his whole gift is like, here, you can do scratch at home. And because he comes home every week from school and he just tells me all the things he learns and he doesn't have any idea that he could potentially do it at home. So that's really his gift, plus some resources. 
And since we didn't get him like a big Lego set this year, I got him a few other small things, including like a little Broncos football and a little book light because he's been reading more in bed and then a book. I always have to get them books. And so I got the Investigator series, which is kind of has like a graphic design style because he really liked the I Survive graphic novels. And so I heard these were really good. Let me know if you agree with that. But those are the things I got my son. Some of the other things he's getting from other people are some more of the Firehawk books. He's starting to collect those. A remote control truck. He's really interested in potentially trying chess as well as like a Lego car and this really cool like STEM type toy that I'm hoping he will like. So those are some other gift ideas for that nine, eight, nine year old boy. So that's my son. Okay, as for my daughter, she's seven and a half. She's a little hard to buy for, but I had a couple ideas and she also is not getting a large gift this year. She's getting a couple small ones, including some booties from Target, which I think she would really love just because I've never gotten her anything like this. And I think she would really feel like that is special. And then I got her just a cute little tattoo kit. She loves little art things, but I've gotten so many of them and oh my gosh, they make such a mess, but I think she'll really like this little tattoo kit. And so I got her that. The other two things I got her are not yet in because I got them on Cyber Monday. And so that is this cooking book as well as an apron set. She loves cooking. She cooks breakfast with her dad every Saturday. She's just like very into it. She takes a cooking class at her enrichment school. And so I thought it'd be fun to see what I could kind of trust her with, to be like, here, follow a recipe, see what you can do. Here's the kitchen. I'll be over here and see if she really likes that. I think she would love it. So I got her those two things as well. And then as for some extra ideas, she also loves science. She loves it. So I got like a couple like science kits, like some slime kits, a volcano kit. She loves it. She also loves like logic games. So I got her that and puzzles and books, I think. So some just kind of basic stuff that we just always love and have a ton of in our house. So that's for my seven and a half year old. All right, for my twins. Man, they're a little harder and they just recently had a birthday and they love Paw Patrol still. So during that birthday, we got them the new like big truck pup set. It's in all the magazines right now. So we already got that for them for their birthday. So I decided I did not want to get any more Paw Patrol stuff. They have too much. So I was aiming more for like a STEM type toy. So the big thing I got them is this. So it's a glow in the dark marble run from Nat Geo. So I got this big one as well as the expansion pack. And then I just realized this says eight plus, but I think they'll still be fine with it because they play with the big kids toys like this all the time. So that is their big gift from us. But I always have to get books for my kids. I just, I have to get books and they love seek and find books, which I also talked about in that open ended toy video. So I got them some where's Waldo books. And so these are not consumable. They're just books where you find Waldo, obviously. I loved these as a kid. So I was so happy to find two of those. So I think they will really like those. And then some other things that they're going to get are the big kind of classic Lego bins. I got two. This, I tend to do this with them is whatever toy I pick, I get duplicate one for each so that they can combine and that way they can play together really well. So anyway, we got they're going to get two of those classic bins as well as some puzzles and some play-doh and things like that. So they will be fine. They will have lots of good things to play with. So I hope that was helpful to see some ideas for those age ranges of what I got my kids for Christmas and some other ideas that I sent out to the relatives. But anyway, let me know down below. Do you have some favorite toys for those age ranges that you think are just like slam dunks? Let me know. Let everybody know down below so we can kind of share those ideas. But otherwise, guys, I hope this was fun. I hope it was helpful. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next homeschool video. All right. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.